Um, so when looking at this one, again, what we're trying to find, guys, remember when we're using the inverse, when we're using inverse trigonometry, we're trying to find the angle. That's what we're trying to find. Right? So just remember I told you guys that when we're using trigonometric functions, we're looking for the side length. When we're using that inverse, we're looking for that angle. And again, one thing that I can rewrite this to kind of make you help uh, rewrite this in another form, we could write this as secant of some angle theta equals negative 1. So secant of what angle gives you negative 1? And again, this can be confusing because you're like, ah, I don't know secant. I'm, not, I'm good with cosine and sine and tangent, but I'm not good with the reciprocal functions. So rewrite it as, rewrite it as your functions that you know. 1 over cosine of theta equals negative 1. Now there's a couple ways you guys um, could do this. Then you could multiply a, a cosine on both sides, cosine of theta. Cosine of theta on both sides. And therefore, you'd get 1 equals negative cosine of theta. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. Cosine of theta equals negative 1. And then obviously, we could say theta equals cosine inverse of negative 1. And now we just got to think, well, on the unit circle, with the domain restrictions, remember domain restrictions of cosine is between 0 and pi. Um, what angle will give us negative 1 for cosine? Well, if this point is 1 comma 0, this point is negative 1 comma 0. Remember, cosine represents the x-coordinate. This angle is pi. So theta equals pi. What? Question? Oh. You're processing. You don't get what? You don't get this to this, this to this, this to this. Remember, what we're asking is, when you put it like in this form, secant of what angle gives me negative 1? So we're not looking for what the point is on the unit circle. We're looking for the angle that gives us the point. So, you gotta, so when you look at the unit circle, you say, all right, well, we're looking for what angle gives us where the cosine is negative 1. Remember, cosine represents x coordinate. There's, the only one x, there's only one point on the unit circle where x is negative 1. I'll, I could fill in the unit circle if you wanted to. There's no other angle that has, there's no other point that has a negative 1. So we've got to figure out, well, what is the angle that makes that? Well, remember, standard form always starts from here. So if we rotate to there, that means it's pi. Let's do another example, see if maybe it helps.